Hello there. How about I take a moment and just read to you one of my most favorite paragraphs from Gita, where Krishna tells the most loving words to his friend Arjuna. Just hear this from me. I am speaking to you because I love you and wish for you the greatest good. Always think of me, love me, and act from that love. Without the least doubt, you shall come to me. I promise you this, for you're my dear friend. Come to a comfortable seat, whether that's in your living room or in your kitchen. Maybe you have a spot somewhere in your house where you can sit in Lotus or Sukhasana, or just laying on your back. Let's place our hands on our knees, lightly touching our thumb and index finger together. We'll draw back on the knees, lengthening the spine, bringing the chin parallel with the floor, and softly closing the eyes. I want you to tap into an awareness that lets you sense the room you're in. Sensing the walls and the ceiling and the floor. Any sounds you might hear, allowing that awareness of sounds to help dissolve you inward more and more. I want you to take that same sense of awareness and now use it to become fully aware of the physical body, recognizing all the atoms and energy that make you up. Noticing the energy of the right arm. Noticing the energy of the left arm. Noticing the energy of the right leg. Noticing the energy of the left leg. Bringing your awareness to the spinal cord from tailbone to back of skull and the energy that lies within it. Fully aware of the physical body. The emotional body. Becoming aware of the emotional body, the mind, and noticing whatever thoughts are moving through it, noticing whatever emotional state you're in, and just recognizing the thoughts moving through, not trying to push any thoughts away from you or pull any thoughts towards you. Just witnessing for a moment. Drawing your awareness to the tip of the nose. And beginning to witness the in-breath through the nose. And the out-breath through the nose. Noticing in breath through nose, out breath through nose. Just focusing on that for just a moment. A thought's going to come into the mind. I just want you to recognize it once again and bring your awareness back to in breath. Let's use your imagination now for a moment. And I want you to imagine on your next in-breath through your nose, you're drawing energy from the most distant ocean. And on your out-breath, your awareness is stretching out towards that distant ocean. 
in-breath, drawing energy in from the most distant ocean. Out-breath, your awareness reaches all the way out across the seas. Let's stay with that imagination. Let's see if on your next in-breath you can imagine you're drawing energy from the highest peak in the Himalayas towards you. And on your out-breath, your awareness is reaching all the way across the oceans towards the highest peak of the Himalayas. In-breath, energy draws in from the highest peak. Out-breath, it reaches, your awareness reaches all the way across the oceans towards that peak. See if we can imagine your next in-breath is drawing energy in from the sky, the clouds, everything around you. Your out-breath is stretching out far into the sky, far past our solar system, to the most distant galaxy. In-breath, drawing awareness in from the most distant galaxy through the sky towards you. Out breath, your awareness stretches all the way out into infinity. Always act from that love, and with the least doubt you shall come to me, Krishna told Arjuna.